to another Pleasure Beach Experience video. There's motorbikes here. It's Flamingo Land in Yorkshire. And it's bloody freezing. For some reason I thought wearing shorts would be a good idea today, but no, that's not happening. I've already put my trousers on. So today, Flamingo Land, the new roller coaster that looks a lot like Icon but wasn't built by Mac, is in fact an Intamin. It's not open. However, the park is looking quiet, so we should get on quite a lot of rides today. I believe that we're allowed to film on-ride videos, which is always good. And if you are a first-time watcher on Pleasure Beach Experience, my name is Scott, welcome to the channel. We are a little bit daft, but we do try to be serious along the way as well. We'll try and talk a little bit about the heritage of this park, if I can get a signal when looking at the internet for little facts and figures about the rides. Today, I'm joined by my wife, who will not be going on any rides. Hello. Well, this is Becca. Do you want to explain why you're not going on any rides today? I have a very broken finger that I've had to have some surgery on, so I'm of course not allowed to do anything. Nope. And I will be keeping great distance between myself and anyone, so I'm just here to have a look. So I've not been to Flamingo Land very often, and it's a bit of a day out, really. Yeah. It's better than sitting in the house. Definitely, because you're going to get some pictures, aren't yes. you? Yes. Uh, when me and Mark are doing the ride, so yep. it's time to introduce Mark into the video who has uh, been in a lot of PB videos lately and was wearing PB hoodie that Becca made. <laughs> and you said it's always cold here. Every time we come, it's always cold. Yeah. It's freezing again today. It is freezing. It is. But hopefully it'll be a good day. Yeah, you're going to go on the Lost River Water ride, ride then? No, mate. No, just leaving that for me. Yeah, that's, that's your responsibility. <laughs> My responsibility. It's a 20 minute ride. It is actually, yeah, it's where you hope you don't get eaten by all the animals that are near the ride. Yeah. So, before we go on the rides, there is something that I, I want to sort of bring up for anyone that does watch Pleasure Beach Experience often. There's been a couple of messages to Pleasure Beach Experience and comments on the videos lately asking where Mike is. Now, Mike has recently become a supporter of Altrincham Football Club and that is why he's not joining us quite a lot on Saturdays at the minute because he's off watching the football with Jimmy at Altrincham. But also, on a more serious note, we do have the biggest theme park trip any of us have ever done coming up in about seven weeks' time where we'll be going to America and doing two weeks of solid theme parking and it has cost a fortune. So, in all fairness, Mike is probably saving up for that as well so contrary to belief and a couple of rumours that we've kicked him off the channel I can honestly say that is not the case and Mike is still a best friend of mine and of Mark's and we will be seeing plenty of him in the summer but right now Mike is watching and prioritising football at Altrincham which is fair enough and also doing a lot of saving for America and also his brother just got married so I can honestly say we have not kicked Mike off the channel and you will be seeing his jolly face in many videos to come in the coming months. Anyway, Flamingo Land, let's go and do some of these weird rides. First ride of the day is going to be Mumbo Jumbo, the SNS roller coaster here. El Loco, I believe, that the model name of these roller coasters is. So, last time we did it, it was a bit of a tough one on the shoulders. So, let's see how it's riding this time. We go mumbo jumbo first ride of the day there we go There we go. 
shoulders took a bit of a pasting, I've got to be honest. Just taking our ride, I'll say, one and only ride probably, yeah. Mumbo Jumbo. First time in three years. Yeah. How was it? Um, it's not, kind of know what to expect from the ride to be honest with you. Uh, it's a bit jolty in places, but you know, it gets a big queue. Yes. Uh, so it's always advisable to come come here first, get it done, and then move on to move on to the other coasters. It's a fun little ride, really. Everyone seems to come off enjoying it, so what? You know, obviously, it's a good investment for the park. Going to do one of those in America in a couple of weeks. Indiana Beach. Cred to cred, mate. Cred to cred. You're not allowed to say that anymore. You're banned. Oh, According well. to Twitter, you're not allowed. Oh, well. Can't go to parks for credits anymore. You've just got to go on the rides you've been on. Nothing new is allowed. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be the exception to the rule then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. Will you be going on again? No, I'm easy. It's a good hour queue now. Yeah, it is. It was, what, 25, 30 minutes that we just waited? Yeah, it's going to be a good hour later. Yeah. Um, just thought I'd probably echo Mark's thoughts on it, really. So it's time to turn our attention to Kumali. The Vekoma SLC here at, nearly called it Fantasy Island, Flamingo Land, that opened in 2006. very breezy on this lift hill and it is quite a slow lift hill on our way up to the top of Kumali. You know what? That's really not that rough at all. That's aged very, very well for an SLC. Very well. Spines rearranged on that thing, unless it's got any better than every other Vekoma SLC I've been on. I thought I'd come for a walk and talk about the origins of Flamingo Land. So, just talk about that. We go back to 1959 when the land was bought. Um, 
Originally, it was a country club that went bankrupt, so it was bought to be a zoo. One of the first animals to be here was a flock of flamingos, hence the name. And that's just stuck over time, really. Um, we'll have to go for a walk through the zoo later on, see if they've still got any flamingos. It's not something I've looked up, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, when it opened, it wasn't really thought about having rides here or anything. That happened later on in the 60s, but nothing permanent came here until the 1970s. And then it kind of grew from there. And now, of course, we all know it better for the rides. Um, opinions aside, they've got some interesting and intriguing rides here. So, yeah, it's been, come quite a long way. And I can hear another ride wearing up, so it's going to get noisy in a second. So I will go and find out how Mark and Scott are getting on. And we'll continue this in a little bit. You're all right. So we've just taken our front row ride on Kumali, and you know what? That was really, really smooth. I thought, considering how long it's been here now, I thought, you know what, it might be a little bit a bit jolty and a bit bumpy on the ears, but you know what, it's probably one of the smoothest examples of a Vekoma SLC. Now, if you are watching, Dan, I'm afraid you are very wrong. Kumali is better than Infusion, and I think that Mark probably agrees. Well, he agreed anyway, but yeah, I've got to be honest, Kumali's better than I remember it to be. It's very smooth, takes the transitions well. I don't know if it's because it's cold, but it was just... A very enjoyable coaster experience it has to be said and if the queue stays at a similar sort of level as it's at now I'll probably do it again something that is worth mentioning when you come to Flamingo Land the queues do not move at any great speed the Kamali queue was, was probably two trains worth of people in front of us Hi. It, hello <laughs> it took a while um, they don't load the air gates though which is a little bit of a strange one they, well they do load the air gates they load the air gates when the trains back in the station and has been emptied from the last set of riders so they only load the air gates as the train is back which is obviously it's a bit of a faff and something else that you should know with Kamali is it does only have one train and it doesn't matter how busy Flamingo Land gets it will only ever have one train because they did have two originally but they, I believe they sold one of them I don't know who they sold it to but they definitely got rid of the second train so it only ever has one train um, so yeah Good ride though, enjoyed it. Do recommend giving it a couple of goes if you're here and the queue's bearable, but just like I say, bear in mind, that queue does not move fast. How was it? I enjoyed that. Nice, smooth coaster. It is enjoyable, it's a bit cold up the top though, but... Just a bit. <laughs> it, it was good fun. It is genuinely one of the best SLCs I've done. I was just gonna say, would you say the best SLC then, or...? One of the best. Yeah. I don't know. They all become much of a muchness, but it is one of the best SLCs, one of the finer examples of the variety. Definitely. We're going to give it another go later, do you think? The queue's manageable? Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving a back row to, sit, to fully judge it, because obviously the, with all SLCs, the further you sit towards the front, the, the better it is. So I wouldn't mind a back row ride, you know, to, to, to see if it is good all over the train. Yeah, or just good at the front. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to Becca. How's your day going so far on your photography hunt? Not yeah. too bad, it's just quite quiet and it's never much fun taking a picture in the grey sky, but doing it anyway. You're doing it anyway. <laughs> shall we go yeah. and get a brew? I think we should. Yeah. Now there's a familiar sound. It is of course an SNS shot tower known by the name of Cliffhanger. Airtime. Combo mode activated. Oh, 
<laughs> that is the best SNS tower. No doubt about it. That is epic. That was alright, that wouldn't it? Why can't ice bass be like that? That is so good. No offence meant by that, but honestly, it's, that is just so good. Why can't they all be that good? So, cliffhanger. Without doubt, the best SNS drop tower, shot tower, combo tower, however you want to describe it. By far the best example I've done in a very, very long time. It just shows that those rides can still be excellent when they when they can be. Basically, it's probably. I don't know what the ins and outs of maintaining one of those rides, but it is by far the best example of one of those that I've done in years, and I'm so glad that we waited for it. It was a bit of a faff waiting. It does now have extra seat belts on, which to hold up the loading process a little bit. But all in all, a very good ride, and something that hopefully we'll get to do again today, but can't see it because the park is getting extremely busy, which is a first for Flamingo Land when I'm here. It's normally really quiet. How was it for you? I enjoyed that. Plenty of bird time at the top. Yeah. Forceful, forceful drop on it as well. What more could you want from it? You know what I mean? It's, it is by far the best example of one of those types of rides, without a doubt. Totally agree. Next up, Velocity. Yeah, why not? Yeah, Vekoma motorbike coaster. So, while Scott and Mark have a go on Velocity, um, I thought I'd continue telling you all about Flamingo Land. So, as I said before, this place has had a few different names, all with Flamingo in the name. Um, in 1974, though, is when it got the name Flamingo Land. Um, the park had a major refurb of, over that kind of time and it was kind of marketed differently to be more of the combination experience. Uh, that came about because they were losing money at the time and it was kind of to draw more people in, a bit of a, bit of a rebrand, um, if, if you will. So that, that's where that all came from. Um, Flamingoland was the first, certainly in Britain, was the first zoo amusement park combo. Obviously that kind of thing is quite common these days, but back then, certainly in the UK, it was the first one. It may have been wider, but I can't remember right now. But yeah, it was quite quite a new concept and in 1974 is when they decided to, you know, take that, grow with it, go along those lines and that's what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, that's basically where we got. So started in 1959 and then by 1974 they'd stuck with the name Flamingo Land and here we are now and it's still Flamingo Land. Um, Velocity is just about to go, so we'll go and catch up with Scott and Mark and find out how they enjoyed it. I I, I like Velocity myself, um, although I do prefer the version in Toverland. Velocity though is the second of this type as far as I'm aware, the kind of the bike shaped launch coaster. Um, it's good though, so I've not been on it for a little while and obviously I won't be doing it today. But we'll go and find out what Scott and Mark thought. It's me, it? taking our motorcycle ride on Velocity and there's a little bit of a debate going on here at Country Beach Experience Mobile HQ. Becca's not sure what colour the supports were. Mark thought the track was orange. 
I can confirm that they are both wrong. <laughs> it was red track and silver greyish grey. Becca's favourite. No. Great support. I'm sure the support's weren't always great. <laughs> I'm going to have to dig through my photos now. Do you know what? We're going to have to check RCDB for this. I'm Be 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 Becca's got currently getting RCDB up to prove me wrong. I've so. got my photo archives from last time I Anyway, as you can tell, this is not the most professional uh, bit of filming, but PBE and professional, does it really happen in vlogs? Not very often. Anyway, velocity. Hmm. Ah, it's not the best. You know, if you've got bigger thighs, which I have, uh, it's a little bit tight getting in. You need to sort of be forcibly locked into the train, let's say. Um, a guy of a very comparable weight to me didn't get on it. Um, so it is one that if you are a little bit bigger, like me, that you will need a bit of a shove to get on it. Uh, so that instantly makes it not the most comfortable ride, but it's got an alright layout, it's a fun concept, obviously it's getting on a bit now in terms of roller coasters and when you look at all the stuff Vekoma's doing now, I would not complain if they ripped out Velocity and said, you know what, we'll get one of those nice modern Vekoma coasters in, you know, something like Let Coaster or something along those lines would be epic at this park, it would, I'd get a season pass. They bought a coaster like Lek, which is at Legendia in Poland, if they put one of them in here, I would buy a season pass for this place, even though it's three hours away. Mark's shaking his head off camera, he doesn't agree with me, but honestly, it's, it's that good a ride that that's what the kind of thing that I would not complain about them having here. But yeah, Velocity, five minute queue, good luck at the new roller coaster, which we will cover in detail in this video later on. Glad we got on it, not too fussed about doing it again today. Be the voice of reason about Velocity. It's the second best booster bike. Isn't there only two? <laughs> <laughs> the voice of reason has spoken. Yeah, second best. And no, it wasn't green. <laughs> it wasn't. I honestly thought. I it was beg on. to differ. It was a different colour. Proof that Proof. it was exactly the colour that I said it was. It was a bluey greeny colour on the support. What a shame. Camera's not picking it up. Oh, of course. It is. <laughs> not like we could overlay a photo or something. Turn today. your turn your brightness up. <laughs> <laughs> We're not at Pleasure Beach, you don't really have to turn your brightness up. You can... I don't you know. You know what? We'll just put a foot over it. <laughs> we can manage We that. might do. We might do. I don't or you're know. just going to try and prove me wrong, but everyone in the comments <laughs> will know that I'm right. Alright, you can have that, because you're still pointing at me, so you can have it. <laughs> Point at everyone. I've not got a choice in the matter either. <laughs> So earlier on off camera we went to that little bakery place, didn't we? We it's did, it was good. Cooplands was it, or was Copeland, something like that. Yeah. Best food ever at Flamingoland. Yeah, of yeah. all the visits I've had that's been the best option. Yeah. And it's quite nice inside as well because I've got seats to sit in which is nice. Yeah. Nice change for a park. Uh, but nice quick food, good prices. Very clean in there, very fresh. Very friendly staff. Yeah. Very good. All it was lacking was some decaf tea bags yes. for you. That, just not going to find that anywhere, am I? No, so, unfortunately not. Which is annoying, but I'm going to have to start bringing my own. And as I'm we not can, sure that'll go down. No, <laughs> just offer them up tea bags. Say, yeah. look, I want a brew, I'm willing to pay for it, but here's my tea bag. Yeah. Keep your own. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to have to do that because. I mean, how do you end up coming to Yorkshire and they don't have a suitable choice of tea? Because they all drink they're Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire tea drinkers. They, in my drawer at work, I've got a box of decaf Yorkshire tea. It's not like they don't make it. Sean Bean would disagree. That is how it is in the adverts. Do it for Yorkshire. I am not attempting a Yorkshire accent no, on camera. Anyway, so what have we done so far? Recap. Recap. We've done. Mumbo Jumbo. Yep. Kumali. Cliffhanger. Velocity. Velocity. And it is busier than we expected, isn't it? So we're probably not going to get on everything like we planned doing today. No, busiest I've ever seen, Flamingo Land. You know what? It's good to see. Yeah, it's it good is. Good to see it busy. Like, you know, obviously money will be coming in the turnstiles. So all the, especially with a new coaster, hopefully it's opening, so. One train, you were nearly like twisting your head round like an owl, weren't you, looking at the uh, 
looking at it is we're going past on velocity. It's the only reason I went on velocity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, it, it looks nearly ready. I mean, the station lights are on, so it must be doing something. So after our little debate, we've um, all made friends again and we've moved on to, well, I don't know if it's called this, but the land of the dinosaurs. Um, it's quite cool around here, it's, it's quite nicely done. For just a small park, I think they've done really well. You can see the effort that's gone in. Scott and Mark are going on Twistosaurus, which is over there. And I did this last time. It's an interesting little coaster. It's a great one for filling some space. It's kind of good for everyone to do. Twistosaurus, as many supports as you could get in there. But there we go. The Power Rangers. Bye. What are you laughing at? a bit more raucous than I remember. <laughs> Two lap special. Got a thing about sitting on spinning seats at the back of rides at the minute. Yeah. There's no boats on the Lost River, that must mean it I don't no, have to go on it. See it go, mate, don't worry about it. Oh, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Oof, here we go again. It's interesting. Here he is, Marcosaurus. <laughs> making, friends. <laughs> making, making friends. I was Twistysaurus or Twistosaurus. It's alright, it's had some good spins on it. Yeah. Nice, really, but I was a fun coaster in it, really. Yeah. Open families. We were just saying, weren't we, Becca, that it is literally kind of perfect sort of ride yeah. for families. Personally. I'd rip out Skyforce and put that there. At Pleasure Beach, yeah. I would, because it'd give me and either Charlie or my little brother something to do while everyone else does the big one. Yeah. It, you know, you, Nickland isn't far, but it'd be nice to have something in that area to do with yeah. the little kids and everyone knows I don't like Skyforce, so I'd absolutely get rid of that. And <laughs> I'd have no problem having that there. No, we were just saying off camera, weren't we, that they have got it right here in terms of family to frill ratio, there's a bit yeah. of bit of everything for everybody. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Not too far away either. For example, it'll be hard to see in the video, but opposite Kamali, there's a big kind of wet play area. Yeah. With a big pirate ship and fountains and things that you can play in. So that's right next to it. So there's still something to do with the kids while the bigger kids are on the coasters. So yeah. Yeah, something that some parks could do better with, and not just Pleasure Beach. That's no. not a dig at Pleasure Beach, just there are a lot of parks that could do better in that. And you bought some merch? I have. So the shop's actually really good. Um, loads of little dinosaur things, so it's just been Charlie's. It's quite difficult for Becca to show yeah. because of her hand situation, but it's just, it isn't like Flamingo Land merch, but it is just stuff yeah. that you, you would get for a, so like our four year old. Basically, that green bag is picking mixed dinosaurs. Yeah, which is exciting for me. So Charlie will love it. <laughs> but yeah, and, and it's not expensive either. So we got quite a few things there. And it didn't cost a fortune, so I think they've done really well there. On the subject of dinosaurs, I know that you're not a big fan of it, but I can't wait for the new Jurassic Park to come out. <laughs> yeah, it just not my kind of film. No. 
if, Fair if enough. we get more uh, decent rides out of it, Universal won't complain. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> so we've come over to the zoo and we're currently in the Kids Planet area of the zoo, so it's much smaller area. Now we've got some meerkats and we've also got a lot of play equipment here which I will try and show you. I've got myself all wedged. So up here, got some slides and stuff. Hold on, helps if I zoom out, doesn't it? There we go. Trying to operate this camera one-handed isn't recommended. But there we go. I think I definitely need to bring our little one here because he will love all of this. So you've got bridges and stuff all the way over and it comes round to big slides. You've got some of the little stuff for the littler kids or the less confident kids there so you can keep a good eye on them over there. We've got pirate ship over here which I know for a fact my son would love. It's all about the pirates. We've got slides, bridges, climbing bits and all sorts, little tunnels. We've got a sand pit over here. So, you know, you could take half the sand home in their shoes. Because that's just what kids seem to do. Tunnels and stuff. But this area is actually just really nice. I think I missed this bit last time because Charlie was just so little that we didn't really get a chance to explore this bit because by the time we'd come round the park we came round the opposite way than we've gone today and Charlie was just tired he'd not long learned to walk so he'd very much worn himself out by the time we'd got round here here's the meerkats because everybody loves a good meerkat there we go and they're not camera shy at all And there we go. So we've also got something called Reptile River over here. Which I've no idea what it is. I'm going to guess this is like the reptile house. Yes, it is. So I'm going to see if Scott and Mark have gone in there. Because I have a feeling that Scott will be trying to find some alligators or crocodiles or something. We're looking for um, crocs and alligators and what not, and there's some um, dwarf caiman, I believe they're called. There's just, Ooh, nice. one, just one, so if we just go over there, we'll be able to see it. Yeah, it's quite dark in here, but we'll see what we can see. Lizard variety, I imagine. Now it's some kind of dragon, but he's just chilling out there. He's got a very long tail. He's definitely not camera shy. I think Scott's found someone interesting. He's oh, a dwarf caiman. He's proper chilling. He is, he's... Uh, found his napping spot for the day, I think. It's not the easy. Let's see if we can see him from the other side. I'm not sure if we can. Oh. oh, there he is. We can see him. Let me just get you a closer look. There we go. Just popping his little head out, keeping an eye on things. So we've come back out. And just outside of that area, there's some more animals. I think we've just seen some cows. And now we've got some ponies. Very fluffy ones as well. There's quite a few in that barn back there as well. I'm not sure where we're going now. No idea, to be honest. We're just going to wander, I think. Yeah, we'll go and see what rides we need to do because I think the plan originally was do all the coasters, but I think some of them are a bit too busy to consider bothering with it. Yeah. Minute. So heroes, I know people will be sort of looking forward to us shouting and crying and being upset on hero, but when I walked past it earlier to nip back to the car, it had like a, quite a big queue. Yeah, it opened quite late. Yeah. So I am guess it's just people catching up. So maybe Probably. towards the end of the day, it'll be quieter. Yeah. And I, I am going to make a pledge to the people watching this vlog. I am going to go on the Lost River ride if it's open at the end of the day. I've got my waterproofs. I will lay down to just a t-shirt because I can change it when we get back in the car later. So I will do it. I will POV it because I've not been on it since 2008, I don't think. So I will do it. I will get soaked. I will complain about it. But I am going to do it at some point today, unfortunately. And this man will not. No. no. A certainty. Not warm enough for water rides. Next up, it's Hero. 
the flying toast rack roller coaster. You excited for Hero? Yeah, can't wait. Can't wait. Honestly, cannot wait. I don't think it'll be as bad as the one at Coney Island because that was grim. That really was grim. grim. We'll see how it goes. I think it's just the last little bit of this that's a bit jolty, but. <laughs> Well, Scott and Mark go on that uh, flying monstrosity, I thought I'd continue our little chat about, well, Flamingo Land and kind of how they got to where they are today. So we've obviously been through how they got their name. They've been Flamingo Park and ended up at Flamingo Land. Um, when the rides kind of arrived in Flamingo Land in the 70s and, you know, when they got a bit more serious about their permanent rides and getting to where we were today, they started off as more of an amusement park, so, you know, it wasn't set areas, it was just things were in. Made to look pretty, but things were just there. It was an amusement park. But a while ago, they did start changing year by year, making set areas. Each area has a name, each area has a different theme, and, you know, they are all very separate. And personally, I think they've done quite a good job of that. Um, there is quite a range of areas and it's far too bright out there so we're going to go back this way. Um, so yeah, it didn't all just happen overnight. It wasn't, we're an amusement park, now we are a theme park. They worked bit by bit to get there. Haven't seen it evolve massively over the years that I've been visiting Flamingo Land. The biggest change for me to see was the introdu introduction of the Flamingo F1 area. So that's where I am now. So we'll be able to see the cars up there. They've got the go-karts. They've got this indoor area, which has a cafe in it. It's got some arcades. It's got a gift shop. It's got a Build-A-Bear. So yeah, this is the kind of newest area for me. Um, so I'm kind of used to it just being a theme park. But it would have been interesting to see what it was like in the days of just being an amusement park. Um, and what you'll see, I'm just going to turn you around for a second. What you'll see is these signs for different areas of the park which explain what's actually around here. So as you can see, this they're calling this little indoor area the hub. Or is it just, I'm not sure. No, it's the whole area is kind of Flamingo F1, the hub. Slightly confusing, but there we go. But you can see what, that we've got all the different things. So you've got the, the, the go-kart ride, which is Flamingo F1, which is just over here. So we'll go and have a little peek while we're close. And then, obviously, you can see Mumbo Jumbo in the background. But here we go. And you're all used to the Pleasure Beach, so this is basically the Grand Prix on a large scale. You've got three rows side by side very similarly done lots of flashing lights if you can see in there what I have noticed is people that are here today seem to like to stop quite a lot um, not seeing very much competitive driving but here we go they're not the fastest cars out there but I've seen a lot of littler kids have a great time on this today they've got this kind of walkway that goes up here which helps you get about in the different parts of this part of the park so we'll continue having a walk hello again so yeah that's kind of how fancy up fancy cut that so that's how flamingo land got to where it is today it started off as a country club that went bankrupt got bought up wanted to put a zoo here got the zoo the zoo's still here which is great actually, I do quite like the zoo, it's um, a, a really nice place to walk around, it's very well done. Um, I've explored more of it today than I did on previous visits and that's very good. So definitely recommend having a look at that, especially if you've got younger kids. And 
Yes, yeah, so we got the zoo, we got some rides. It was initially just travelling fairground, you know, the kind. And then we got some permanent rides. Once they got happy with the permanent rides, we ended up with themed sections. And now we have Flamingo Land, which is now a theme park. So, and zoo. Let's not forget the zoo. So now, I think, because it's got quite sunny, I'm going to go and find some ice cream. And somewhere a little bit less windy, a little bit less bright, to sit and wait for those two and then we'll find out just how much they enjoyed their flight. We're in the queue for Hero and one of the carriages let's say is here in the transfer track so close up look at why we call it a flying tow track I guess. And if you're wondering how you get in it you climb up the steps those restraints will be open, so it'll get into a bit of a weirdy line position and then it tilts forward. It's not the most pleasant thing. mind the way that heroes loaded is a little bit strange so here we go we're unloading while it's moving you know you just kind of get chucked out and then what happens is it goes past the gate and then here we go you get lit through here's Mark and Scott now and then you have to chase the car around and try and climb in while it's moving and eventually it will stop for the restraints to be checked and there we go it's stopped so you have to climb up this little ladder at the bottom try and get you a view of it there's like a little ladder through there and then you can pop your head through the top and then they bring down these restraints and then as it's sent you hit this little hump, it lies you down, and then you're off. But it is just quite interesting how you pretty much have to chase the car down to get into it. But anyway, that's Scott and Mark finally on. It was quite a long queue to be fair. Um, let's see how they do. We've taken our ride on Hero and it's now broken down. I wish it had done that 10 minutes ago. Hey, right, I'll let you talk about this one for now. I've not a lot to say, mate, because it's dreadful. If I never do it again, it'll be too soon. <laughs> it, just, it just doesn't get any better, does it? No, I was willing to give it another shot. That's the third time I've given it a go, third and last time, because they're just not comfortable. No. You know, it's, it's getting in's awkward, getting out's awkward, and the ride's awkward. Yeah. Bin. <laughs> Bin. There we go. Becca thinks that that uh, groan that Velocity's making is like a Vekoma mating call. <laughs> it is, it obviously wants a friend. Yeah. It, it needs a boomerang, that's it what do, it is. It does. It's calling out. It's calling for a boomerang. That's exactly what's happening. Yeah, it just made me laugh because every time we've gone past it, I've moaned about it being noisy and you'd be like, it's calling for a Vekoma friend. It is. A modern Vekoma in this park, like I said before, like Let Coaster, yes. Oh, the one that you did at Energy Land here, is it Abyssus? Abyssus, yeah, that was very good. Yeah. Yeah, we'd, I'd come back for one of them. Formula as well, even? Yeah. 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 We, I think we all unanimously really liked Formula when we all separately went. Yeah, it was it was one of those coasters that I came off and went, well, that was pleasant. Yeah. You know, there was just nothing wrong with it. It was just, 
good. More, more of the comas. Yeah. And in grey. No. <laughs> Gonna bring you back in for this. We're on about going far up Summerland, is it? Yep. I, I hope I've said that right for the new Vacoma. So, more Vacomas. More I'm, I'm all for the new Vacomas. Let coaster, formula coaster. You know, they're, they're just a, they're, they're taking it to another level. Um, Absolutely. More of them, please. Hero is wretched. It is actually wretched. Something worth noting is the Zamperla disco ride here called Navigator is it's closed today which is just like every time I've been to Flamingo Land since it opened because it was closed last time I was here in 2019 and I don't think it was open in 2013 either so I don't know maybe they could get rid of it and use something put something different here but I don't know what they put in this space Maybe they could buy Skyforce. Either way, it's closed. I'm not too disappointed. Oh, hold on, Becca's got a suggestion. The Coma Boomerang would fit quite nicely in this space. Family one or one of the uh, looper one. ones? Proper one, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure there'll be one that they could buy from somewhere. Speed of sound. Oh, you, I don't think Wallaby would be too happy about that. A clone. A clone. But yeah, I, I reckon you could fit one of them in this space. I think it's big enough. I'm sure they could do, and I'm sure there'll be one that's for sale somewhere. There always is, isn't there? Yeah, there always is, yeah. There's either one always being removed or one that's about to be removed, so... Yeah. Yeah, in all seriousness, though, get a boomerang. But yeah, it's <laughs> it's always closed. Every time I come here, this is closed, but honestly, I don't go on Avatar Airbender at Pleasure Beach, so I'm really not disappointed. Here we are, then. This is the new 10-looping roller coaster at Flamingo Land and it's going to be called Inversion, but it will have 10 in the name. Mark, good investment for the park, do you think? Yeah, I think it's a great investment, to be honest with you. I think it's a step in the right direction. They, they obviously need more bigger rides, because when you, you walk around the park on a day like today, the only things busy are the big rides. Yeah. So they obviously need more big rides, but for me, I really, really don't like Colossus. No. So, for me, the coaster... It, I don't know, it just seems a bit of an odd one for them. Because, I don't know if it's just because they tend to go with something different and they've gone with quite an old style coaster. Obviously this one's been around the block a bit, but... Believe it or not, it's never opened. I know, but it's travelled, hasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's actually older than Icon, I think. Yeah. But it's never actually opened. Yeah. Maybe painting it grey is the look it needs. Oh, God. <laughs> So here we go, the, the the one and only drop on this ride, and it has quite an impressive splash. So here it comes. Eventually, it does take its time. Here we go. And unfortunately, thanks to the wind, I end up soaked as well. You do you do get quite a lot of spray coming over. However, I've got to say, everyone in that boat looks pretty happy with themselves for getting that soaking. There we go. And the next one will be quite a while. So there's quite a gap between the boats. But I think next we'll go and have a look at the splash zone. Let's see if we can see just how high the Lost River ride can get its splash. I bet it won't be as high as Tidal Wave at Thorpe Park. No, definitely not as high as Thorpe Park. Good effort though. <laughs> so we've come up to the lion enclosure viewing area that's underneath the drop and we're going to have a, a little look at how different the splash looks from this side and hopefully being out of the wind it won't get soaked this time there we go you can see there's actually a lion out to play today He's just chilling. 
There he is. Just chilling. The whole ride kind of goes round this way. So that's the station up there. And then you kind of go around all of this bit. In and out of different bits and then up the lift. Up here. I'm fairly sure you stop in there for at least five minutes for how it feels when you're watching it. And then down a drop. And then at least after the drop you're quite quick back to the station. And you can see the queue over there as well. It's quite quite popular even though it's not the warmest day. Because that, that breeze is quite cool. But yeah, Scott's gone on there. I'm sure we'll soon see how soaked he gets.
<laughs> Someone got wet. Mildly moist. Was it worth it? Uh, apart from thinking that I was on a set for Jurassic Park with how close some of those animals get to the ride trough, then. Uh, do you know, I'm not, I said in the video, didn't I, that I'd been on it before. I'm not actually sure I have. I don't remember being on it, actually going on it before, but I was a little bit anxious for how close some of those animals are actually to the trough, especially when some of them are rumbling because they're hungry. It's like, um, yeah, go away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but do you know what? I'm glad I've done it. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the footage. I know it was a little bit prolonged because it is a long ride. What I want to say is that Flamingo Land have got a really good concept in the fact that the queue takes so long that by the time you get on it, you're already cold. So that when the water hits you, you don't actually feel it because it's absolutely freezing in that queue line out of the sun. And honestly, it's the most tedious, a ridiculous loading policy I've ever seen on a water ride. It's taking like five or six minutes a boat to, to send them. And it's like, sometimes the boat's full and it's sat there waiting, everyone's in it and it's like, well, send it. Why, why is it just sat here? What's going on? So a queue that probably should have taken 10 minutes has taken, what, 40 minutes? An hour. An hour. An hour, yeah, full I'm not, hour. I'm not surprised. It's, take, it's just been ridiculous. Yeah. I wouldn't queue for it again. No. If it, if it was walk on, I'd go straight on it, like if it was warm, but I wouldn't queue for it ever again because that is ridiculous. Two boats and it takes like 15 minutes to get around us and then it takes them, what, five or six minutes to send it. Yeah. I think that queue on, say, you know, at Thorpe, on, tide, on tidal, tidal wave, wave yeah that, i think that would take about minutes, 20 minutes at five, most, minutes at most. Yeah. there wasn't that many people in front and it takes what four eight 16 people at least a time yeah and they were filling the rows so i, I don't really understand why it took so long but no the splash was fun <laughs> wet cold but it was worth it we got the video don't have to do it again now yep and time we are now 10 to 5 I don't think I'll be going on anything else. I'm a little bit soggy for that. No, nope, I think it's time to go home, to be honest. I think it might be time to maybe change into a clean and dry top and then do a proper video wrap-up somewhere else. Yes. Yeah. Let's so. go and get out of the direct sunlight anyway. Yeah, let's, let's do that. There is a very photogenic background, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> How's you day been? It's all right, you know. Something's nice to... Nice change, it's been three years since we've been here, you know, and it's been nice in the sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. Sunshine. It started off quite cold, didn't it? it? It did, but the sun's come out and it, you know what, it's been busy as well today, so it's good to see, good to see the place busy. Busiest I've ever seen Flamingo Land. Yeah, yeah, it has been, I couldn't believe it, it's like all of a sudden, like at 12 o'clock, they all, they all flocked in, so, you know, money, it's money over the tills, so... It's, 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 been, it's been good from that perspective. It's not all perfect when you come to Flamingo Land, so if you could improve one thing, I know there's more than one thing, but the overriding thing, if you could improve one particular thing, what would it be? Capacity of rides, please. Yeah. That's, that's literally what I prove, uh, I, I do, because I wouldn't, if you was coming in summer, there are gonna be long queues. Fast pass would be required. Yeah. Um, to maximise your day because it can be tedious sometimes. Like Hero was tedious. It was. It just seemed like a long time to wait for, for what is a very, very short ride. Agreed. Uh, one thing that has improved a lot since we last came here is the catering. That that, that place where we had food was, was very, very nice. I, I'd thoroughly recommend it. The pie was nice, quick. It was efficient service as well and the pastry was nice as well that I had. The pan au chocolat this morning, brilliant. Excellent. Any other particular highlights? No, it's just been good. I say it's just been good to get to get back. Probably next time we come, it'll be inversion will be open, whether that's this year or next year. But it's, it's not a place I, I, rush, I rush back to every every few months. It's normally like once a year. Yeah, I think if we do come back, it probably won't be a vlog. It'll probably be a do the new ride, review it, and then sitting at that sit at that bakery. Yeah. <laughs> edit, edit your video, and I'll just sit and have a coffee. Yeah. Day or bottles of coke yeah. hey, one other thing that i think we should mention pricing one thing that we don't ever talk about when we go to places that aren't pleasure beach is pricing so do you want to talk about it and just, you don't have to rate it because i think we all know what we think about the pricing just how much did we pay uh well it's 49.95 online on, on the gate 
I want to get it. Yeah, it's thirty nine ninety five if you buy online in advance for today. We've got it a little bit cheaper than that through ECC. It's, it's always worth shopping around for it, so you can get any, any cheaper than that. It's not the, not the cheapest place in the world, but you can understand why it's priced the way it is with the zoo. If it was just a theme park, you know. Fair enough. I know you've not been on anything, but <laughs> how's your day been? It's been good, actually, because it's been a good chance to look at it from what I'd do with Charlie yeah. kind of point of view. And I now think there is a lot for him to do now. Yeah. I mean, I think we'd spend most of the day in the zoo. Yeah. Which isn't a bad thing, because it's actually really nice in there, and there's a lot of it to see. Um, but, yeah, it's been a good day overall. Good stuff. And your pictures will be on PB at some point, I guess? Yes. Excellent. Cool. Just to finish, then... Um, actually really enjoyed today. Flamingo Land has never been a favourite park of mine. It's somewhere that I've always sort of turned my nose up at if it's been an option to come because, like Mark said, it is a very expensive day out. They will do it every couple of years. This year will be the exception because there'll be two visits, assuming the new coaster opens. If the new coaster doesn't open, then we won't be back until next year. That's a certainty. But overall it's been a good day Kumali was better than I remembered and I think that is a, an outstanding highlight of the day it's so much better than I remember also the catering has improved so much if they could improve the ride operations in the way that they've improved the catering that would be amazing I think the, the problem is that I, like we've said many a time in this video today the loading and the rides is just one massive faff you just like the, the waiting for the rides to be dispatched or even loaded that takes longer than the ride cycles themselves. I didn't realise I queued an hour for that water ride. That's crazy. I mean, Kumali took forever. Mumbo Jumbo was a while. Hero was a while. And it's just all things that I just think that maybe they could just look at getting a theme park operator in, not as their own, as just to sort of give them some, I don't know, a nudge in the right direction with the operations, because I genuinely think without the ride operations being such a faff it'd be a much better day out and I think you'd go you'd look past the rides not being the best and go actually I don't mind that the rides are not great because you just go well I can put up with it the queues are fast so that is the one thing that I really think this park needs to improve on yeah the rides aren't great but you can look past that when the operations are good there's other parks where the rides aren't great and you go well the operations are good so it doesn't really matter but all in all a fun day out nice to mix it up from just being Blackpool all the time on here and going forward there is going to be a lot of non-Pleasure Beach content which I know a lot of people are keen to see now now that Covid's sort of gone or going that we are going to go back to 2019 kind of things where we do a lot more than just Pleasure Beach which is what I really want to do with this channel anyway so I hope you've enjoyed the video I hope you've enjoyed the POVs please let us know in the comments what you thought of this vlog and also let us know where you'd like to see us go and vlog as well we've got a lot of plans a lot of different plans than when I did the plans for the channel video so see where it goes from here but it'll hopefully be Port Aventura next and then walk the big one which is of course Pleasure Beach but it's not going to be a Pleasure Beach vlog then Alton Towers and then lots and lots of other stuff so all in all good day thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next Pleasure Beach experience video